Well, hello, my lovelies, and welcome to Cookie Corner of YouTube. Today, I'm going to show you a really quick make uh, using your Snippet Roll. So if you've seen my video from a while back, I put a link up somewhere there that you can go back and have a look at it. Um, it's a paper collage Snippet Roll, and um, you can keep it as is if it's beautiful, decorate it up. You could add poetry into it, whatever you like. But if you want to use it as some kind of a a way to make cards really quickly um, then this is what I'm going to show you today. So um, this is a piece I put together from the snippet roll that I made earlier last week and it's just so simple. It really really is so simple. This is going to be such a simple make for you. Um, so first of all you're going to need a blank greeting card. Now I have got these do crafts ones these are the five by seven card blanks they're a nice size i do sometimes like the square ones as well and i also like the craft ones too i did consider doing craft ones but this one shows up with the the mulberry paper so much better so i'm going to bring one of those out of my stash sorry if i bashed my microphone then it's flying around a little today <laughs> um so yeah these are really cool they come with uh, a crease down the middle where that's crease down there you fold against that i've found that this is the way and somewhere on my person i have a bone folder and what i tend to do is i just flatten down that crease so that it lies flat. They're nice thick cards, so they are. Um, they can take a lot of hammer, really. Right, they come with envelopes, perfectly sized. So that bit is the easy bit. Now, let me grab my sticky sheet. This is my little silicon sheet that I put down so that I don't get glue all over my table, which is always a good plan. And I'm going to find my roll here. And kind of see, there's two pieces there that I actually like. Hmm, let me do a measurement. A measurement. What's my measuring to do? Here it is. I think I want about a. Uh, Two and a half inches or six, six centimeters, maybe. And I'm going, I like that one. It needs a little more added to it. I'm really liking that one as well. So maybe I'll snip it off at that point there. So grab my scissors. I'm going to take it there. Now I can trim this down. I need to with my uh, guillotine. Oh, that's away. <laughs> these <laughs> these pots. If you've made these pots with me, it's handy for holding the rolls and snippets. <laughs> what luck! Um. So this is nice in itself, but I kind of want to add things into it. And so, trying to decide if I want to take that side or this side. I like that side because it's got the musical notes on it. So I'm going to grab my guillotine, which is behind me. <laughs> Everything's always behind me. I seem to have a constant state of behind me itis. Okay, taking it down. I want it about there-ish, I think. Taking it off there and hmm, maybe I just want this middle bit here, maybe that bit. I think that bit there. I'm doing that bit, that's cool. I like that bit, it's got lots of glitter on it. And I save these, they always come in handy. Don't ever throw away bits of snippet, you can use them in collage and all kinds of things. Um, Look, I quite like that little 
little rough edge on the bottom. I'm liking that. Yes, that's quite cool. Right. So also, if we look back to this one, I've got a little bit of like the smallberry paper on the background. I really love that. Love it to bits. I've got some in here, which I've already pre-cut up for cards. I always keep little stashes of these. <laughs> you know me, I like a little stash. So I've got a little stash in there. I'm just going to reposition this microphone because it's annoying me. Just bear with me a second. That might be a bit better. Okay, so push that to one side again. And I've got, I don't think that's quite big enough. That one might be. That's too small, too small, too small. I'm hoping one of these might be big enough. But what I can do is cut my piece down. Really like, really like that one. <laughs> ah, choices, choices. I think I'm going to go that one. Yeah, so I'm going to cut this down because I can. So I'm just going to trim that top bit off. There, you can do this with a guillotine as well. I'm going to take that side bit off there. And that sits rather nicely on this piece of mulberry paper. And what we need to do now, if you want to add anything into this, you can do, but I'm going to put a top on mine just because I have one already. Oh, I don't want that glue. I need that turbo glue. Grabbing out the wrong glue. So I've got this uh, turbo tacky glue by Aileen, which I will use to attach this to this. So, la 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 Put a fair bit on because I don't want it to come off. I've also somewhere got my spread redo. Just to spread it out a little bit. I'm not going to be too precious about it. I just want it to be kind of Especially on those corners that lift. I'm grabbing in some of that. Now, which way round do I want this? I think I want it the other way. <laughs> Be awkward. I want it that way. Now, as you can see, I have a glitter on mine. As you probably saw me spreading some of that on here last week, if you saw me doing my snippet rolls. I'm going to be doing more of those snicker rolls because they're just so relaxing. They really are. <laughs> Supremely relaxing. Right, so we're going to let that dry and then we're going to attach this to the card and then I'll put my topper on. Okay, so I've got my card. I've got my piece. And I'm going to go back in with this tacky glue onto the back of the piece of painted mulberry paper. Spread it around, spread it around. And I don't mind if this is slightly loose at the edges because it gives a nice effect. Do an eyeball and position. I kind of like mine. I don't like mine in the center of the lengthways. I like it kind of Pop and off. Oh, hello. <laughs> the dingly dongly is going on in the background. So that is looking good. So it's centered that way, but not centered that way because I kind of like it up a little bit. Um, well, I just need my baby wipe. Actually, no, I use this cloth just to wipe off my. <laughs> Spreader. It can go in there. Cool. Right. So for a topper, um, I had these Tim Holtz dies, which were little pieces of plant, uh, like leafy, leafy pieces, and. 
you can see on that one that's it like that um, so I'm going to try a different piece of leafness oh I like that one let's put those over there kind of like that that one's lovely so this is one I'm going to put on this now what I did with this I've got some of the foil it's like embossing foil and um, the dyes for the, the plants and I put them through my big shot it did creak a bit but it cut them out beautifully and so I'm gonna do some more of those because I really like the effect on this background there it looks really nice and to attach this I'm gonna go in with a different glue um, the different glue I have is hanging around here somewhere yeah there it is and it is, I always keep it in this little tin, sometimes take this one out with me, it's a nice travel size. So this is the gem tack, I've got glue stuck to my hand. Gem tack, I have got a bigger gem tack as well, but then I refill this one with this one for travelling purposes. And also it keeps, it keeps it nice. So I'll make sure I've got any bits on there. Right, so I'm turning over my piece. And what I like about this glue is it's got a very precise tip on it. So I can get all those little leafy bits. There. And kind of the edges of the leaves, because that's the bit that stands out. That's the bit that's going to go against your card. Press in. Get some out. And take some time to get down on each bit because you don't want it to be falling off this is great for sticking um, gems obviously gem tack in its name does what it says on the tin but it also does these metallic bits really beautifully as well sequins anything else perfect don't forget that bottom bit there that bit there Okay, I'm going to get the lid back on this. There we go. And very carefully, if you've got tweezers, it might be an idea. I haven't got some on me at the moment. And that is going to be positioned on there, like so. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave this to set and dry, but I'm also going to put something on top of it just to weigh it down a bit. So let's see what I'm going to put on top of it. I actually could put my glue on top of that bit there just to hold that down and set it. That's going to stay there for a little bit and then I'll be back to finish off. Okay, so that's stuck down beautifully. Just a point, if you haven't got any of the embossing for you, you can use card. Um, you could use a metallic card if you wanted to. That would work as well. So anything that you've got, you know, just don't go out and buy something special. Have a look, see what you've got. Use what you've got. Um, so the next thing I want to do, because I'm extra, I've got some of this. It's um, Folk Art Metallic Pure Gold. And I have put it into one of these little squeezy bottles because what I like to do on pieces hopefully this is not cloggy just do a test of it on here for now that's fine I like to do little decorative dots because <laughs> I've always done it it's been my thing now you can do yours however you like finish yours off with whatever you want but that's what I like to do with mine going on it's like icing a cake really isn't it <laughs> okay so that's done clean my nib off stick my pin back in stop it from drying off that's why I put that little dot there there's my dirty cloth there we go so that's all the decoration <clears throat> losing my voice frogger 
turned into Froggo. And then at the bottom, just going to put a little signature. It's mine. So you can see if you make a snippet roll up, you could quite easily get a whole load of these cards out. They'll all look different. They'll all be original because nothing on your snippet roll is going to be exactly the same. You're not going to be doing a repeat pattern, but you'll have something to work with. And all those little bits that you cut off are going to be great for something that I'm going to do next. So if you want to, if you want to know what I'm going to do with these snippets, you'll need to uh, subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and you'll be notified whenever I do an upload. So you'll be able to see what I'm going to do with those. <laughs> um, so there we have it. It's really quick, really simple. Once you've got your snippet roll, this is what you can use it for. Um, there are other things I'm going to show you that you can use snippet rolls for as well um, as we go along. So this is just like a little one that you can do as a nice card for a birthday or an anniversary or really whatever you like because they are it's just a piece of little artwork that you can send to a friend anyway that's it from me for now i will say bye from me and i will see you back again here very soon with something else bye, -bye. <laughs>